hill in the foothills of the Smoky Mountains. A.J. Bush grew up in Chesapeake, and after college, he came back as a school teacher. He met a young lady named Sally Kettner and married her in 1891. Well, A.J. was a school teacher first, but the second thing he did was open the old general store. There are two things you need to know about A.J. He had a growing family to feed, and he was always thinking big. A.J. asked himself, what can I do to provide for my family and to provide work for other families in Chestnut Hill? The answer, believe it or not, is not in A.J. Instead, A.J. thought he'd build a hosiery mill. But just as he started, somebody from the Stokely family, you remember Stokely Van Camp? They're from Newport, just up the road. Well, they heard about what A.J. was planning, and they had another idea. The Stokelys came down and visited him and said, if you'll build the building and can tomatoes for us, we'll furnish the equipment. And that's how A.J. Oh. Bush got in the canning business back in 1904. It all worked out pretty well. By 1908, A.J. was able to buy the equipment from the Stokelys and open up his brothers on his own. That first canning factory in Chestnut Hill allowed A.J. and Sally to move their children into this home they built right next to the plant. All through the 20s and 30s, Bush Brothers was busy canning tomatoes and other vegetables. In 1941, Pearl Harbor was bombed. The government decided that producing electricity was critical to the war effort. So TVA created Douglas Dane. That meant flooding the Oak Grove cannery and the farmland that AJ and Sally had worked hard for. They had to buy new land at higher prices. Both AJ and Sally passed away in 1946 but they did live to see all six of their children married and working for the family company. The next generation added new brands and new products, and they added new facilities. But we remained a small company, family run and dedicated to making the tastiest products you can put on your dinner table.